The voices of women are being heard in this uh, assembly of the Synod, and uh, I think that is a paradigm uh, shift for us in the re rest of the church to make sure that their voices are heard. Really, what it takes is not that we hold up women uh, in, in a different way than, than men, but that we also recognize uh, that uh, each of us has the ability, because of our baptism, uh, to stand in front of the community and speak our mind. My hope is that what we're doing here can be replicated when we go home. Uh, you know, I've often thought that one of the um, uh, downsides or failures of the Second Vatican Council was that the bishops had a wonderful experience here. And, but they came home only with the decisions, only with the changes, and never gave the people of God and their priest the experience that they had at the council. I think we can't miss that opportunity now. We have to look for a way in which we go home after this first year of the Synod and try to replicate what has happened here so that people can really understand what has taken place, but also that we can come back here refreshed.